was in the military for 14 years. It was nothing but a good experience, honestly. I traveled a lot. I was put to work, hard work, but I got some rewards out of it. I received my injury in Ramadi, Iraq, a traumatic brain injury. When I woke up and I, and I finally realized what had happened to me, I, um, I thought some bad things and I thought, you know, I wish that bullet would moved over just an eighth of an inch and it would have been the end of me. And uh, I was just like, I need, I said, I didn't, I didn't want to live this life. Traumatic brain injury or TBI is the most important cause of epilepsy in young adults. Individuals with severe traumatic brain injury, like my patient, Ms. Crabtree, have a long course of rehab following their injuries. In, in her case, she suffered a combat-related head injury and underwent prolonged hospitalization caring for that acute injury and then considerable rehabilitation. Finally, I was like, this is what God has given me, so therefore I have to do my best with it. The good news about epilepsy is that we do an excellent job controlling seizures in the majority of our patients with medications alone. That is true for individuals that have epilepsy due to TBI as well. Ms. Crabtree's uh, medications with us um, have been therapeutic, and what we mean by therapeutic is they're working for her, they're controlling a lot of the seizure activity that she had previously. One thing that I learned in the very beginning was that I need to stay on medication so I don't have seizures. We still work on um, some maintenance issues and some breakthrough seizures, but overall she's managing well and she's where we would expect her to be. When you have insult or injury to an area, the, the area is never what it was. She has difficulty with cognition. All right, it's good to see you, Holly. Thanks for coming in today. She has severe weakness. These are all things that affect her daily life, and she had to learn skills and approaches to manage on her own. With your eyes closed, can you touch your nose with this finger? And so we're repathing what used to be there okay. and trying to use other areas to help recreate those areas that she doesn't have control over anymore. Relearning to walk, relearning a new language. And that's what she's going through with, with every event that she's going through in her life. And so that kind of wears on her and makes her feel depressed or puts her in a state of anger or aggression because she's mad at the event, mad at it for happening and having to spend this time to relearn what she knew before. It's a little frustrating to get my health kind of back in order because I'll never be the same that I was before this happened. So that's kind of a hard part for me to accept. When I was told that I was going to be moving home, it kind of broke my heart because I didn't really want to go home. I wanted to travel and see the world. My sister told me that it's okay because you're going to be staying with Uncle Chuck. My relationship with my uncle was, I considered it very special. You know, she needs help, you know. She was doing her thing in the service and everything and until something happened to her. And, and uh, so she needs help. Those that have caregivers and direct support are certainly uh, a little better managed um, than those that, that don't. Mm, caregivers like a 24-7. And uh, just make sure Holly and Leah get where they need to go. Make it to their appointments. Yeah, I have a list of all of her medication and stuff. Make sure she's taking it. And then I have it up on the refrigerator, too, in case something happens. If you're a caregiver, just take everything with a grain of salt and uh, do the best you can. As a provider and as a veteran, I feel that you're only limited by what you're willing to limit yourself to. And you were never gonna be able to reset and take that step backwards. But every step forward is another opportunity to change 
where you're at today. You look yourself in the mirror and you gotta accept what's there. And even though you may not like the person, you may not like certain things about them. Um, but if there's one thing that they can do right, you're gonna go off that and feed it. And it's just like when you have a, a small plant and you, want, and you want it to grow, that's what you do. I believe that Miss Crabtree's future looks bright and that she's gonna be able to do what she wants to do. Uh, she's been given limitations uh, based on her injury that have, uh, I think, changed the uh, path that she wanted to go down. But she's somebody that is very driven, is very focused and family-oriented, and, and I think she's gonna have a, a great outcome. It's, it's not easy for me, but the thing is, you know, I dust off my hands. I, you know, say, okay, well, that didn't work out. Now I gotta find a different way to do it. <laughs>